Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Tragedy Gamer, and we are returning to War in the West, where we have uh, set up a couple of missions against Germany. So, we have two missions. The Royal Air Force is going to bomb Cologne and the Ford Motor Factory there, whereas the 8th Air Force is going to bomb Zwickau, where we have got another vehicle or truck factory from, I think, Auto Union, which is a predecessor to uh, Audi as of today. So these guys are going to try to strike there. That we haven't stricken yet. Cologne we have uh, tried to attack a couple of times, but we haven't been too successful. At the same time, we are going to fly a mission against this airfield up over here. I hope you can see just how many aircraft there are over here. So yeah, you can see there are more than 100 aircraft from the Germans over here in this area. So we are going to try to strike against these guys. There are more over, there, over here, but this is a little bit more out of strike range. So yeah, we do want to send in escorts. So let's see whether that is going to work. We also have got an intruder mission here where we are flying in uh, our night fighters trying to attack the German night fighters as they are landing at their respective airfields. Trying to whittle down a little bit on the German pilots here, especially their more experienced pilots. So that is what's going on in Germany. The situation in Malta is looking a little bit more complex, but it's actually not so. Uh, not Malta, sorry, <laughs> Sardinia is Italy. So uh, we've conquered all of Sicily, you can see it's only our troops over here, but the Germans are holding out on the other side of the Strait of Messina. So we are going to heavily attack them over here in the Regia Calabria uh, naval port over there. So most of our missions are uh, centered around this area. So let's dis dissect what we've got over here. We've got a direct ground support on the 8th British Army, so these are the guys that are going to try to cross. So that is just a couple of airplanes, really not that many, just a couple of Hurricane 4 here with, I think, yeah, these guys are having rockets, so they should be re quite effective. They are also escorted by a couple of P-47, so that's fine, and that is that. Then we've got a couple of ground attacks by three different air forces over here. We've got, and we rearranged that a little bit, we've got 12th Tactical Air Command. These are mostly single engine fighters, so typhoons. These are going to try to come in with pretty heavy bombs actually and 20mm cannons. And they are primarily trying to strafe in ground attack missions. So yeah, they are going to try to interdict over here uh, and trying to disrupt any supplies coming in. And hopefully that might encourage the Germans to pull back from over here. Simultaneously, we are using our four engine bombers, our very heavy bombers, B-17s, Halifaxes, that kind of thing, to strike the rail yards over here. And the reason why I do that is I again want to uh, prevent some supplies from flowing down there. So hopefully that might be alright and hopefully that might not be uh, too, too difficult. And then we've got 12th Bomber Command and this has been heavily rearranged. So what we did over here is I pulled out all of the Wellingtons. These are two engine bombers um, out from the from the Strategic Air Force into 12th Bomber Command, which I want to try to use a little bit more tactical. So basically the setup now is that the 12th Tactical Air Command, sorry, over here, 12th Tactical Air Command is using single engine attack craft, 12th Bomber Command is using two engine bombers and so medium bombers and Strategic Air Force is using only heavy bombers. So that's sort of the uh, logic that we're trying to go for here. So we've got the Wellingtons, the Mitchells, the Marauders, and a couple of just more obscure, bo bo sorry, Baltimore and Boston aircraft. Uh, and of course a couple of Spitfires here that are escorting these guys as they are coming in. So these guys have the mission to directly attack the units that are stationed here. I'm not sure whether that is going to be successful, but let's see. And then of course we've got a couple of ground uh, recon missions that are supporting all of that. Um, and we've got a single intruder mission again also down here. So where our fighters are trying to fly in and disrupt them when they are landing at night. Whether or not that is going to be successful I don't know. And lastly we've got an air superiority over here with about 150 fighters that are just going to try to patrol the area um, and establish our air superiority. A little bit of naval patrols up there, that's not too important. Uh, I've also switched around a couple of units, modernized them. It's mostly small stuff, there's no, no big, big change. Uh, but the general logic is that we are trying to use our P-50s a little bit more up here, the Warhawks, um, simply because they have the ability to use better range while we're using our P-47s more in the Mediterranean theater where range isn't that important. You can see we do have bases that are quite kind of close, um, but at the same time they're a little bit better fighters. At least they're heavier fighters. So that is basically the logic over here. There's one more thing I want to do, and that is uh, if we do have a look at the 8th Air Force over here, where are you? Right. 
you are over here. Okay, so this Air Force is still commanded by Mr. Ika over here. And Ara Ika is, as a commander, historically he wasn't necessarily the very best. Um, he was he was okay, um, and he was very brave. He did fly, actually, I think personally one of the missions into Germany. So he was, he was okay, uh, but he did very heavily trust in the JB-40 concept, which basically was a modified B-17 that was flying in with heavy gun load into Germany, escorting, so to say, the normal B-17s, and that just didn't really work out. Um, so yeah, I think we want to switch him up and use a different commander for that. So yeah, let's get over here, let's switch out Mr. Eker over here, let's dismiss him. We do have quite a couple of admin points, so we can do that. And I would like to use Mr. Doolittle for him, because, well, firstly that is historical, um, even though we are doing this switch a little bit early. And secondly, he's simply a much better commander. You can see he has a better morale rating, 9 against 5, a better initiative rating, 9 against 6. He's not quite as good at administrative stuff, 6 versus 7, but it's kind of close. And he is better at air in general, so I think he's going to be a better addition for that. So let's switch him around and Mr. Doolittle, which everyone knows, of course, due to the Doolittle rate, is now the commander of the 8th Air Force, and that is fantastic, I think. Let's briefly make sure that the commander of the Strategic Air Force down here is also kind of appropriate. Where are you? I think this is it. Yeah, let's look over here. So, Mr. Edwards over here, I have no idea who you are, honestly. So, let's actually check whether he's any good. He is... Mm, honestly, Mr. Arnold over here might simply be much better. I mean, the air rating of 4 here, really... Honestly, no, I don't think, I don't think we can justify keeping you. So, I think Mr. Arnold over here, with a rating of 8 morale, 8 initiative, he's just better all around except for admin stuff. Yeah, so let's pick Mr. Arnold here for the Strategic Air Force down here. That should be all right. And that basically sets that up, I think, fairly nicely. Yeah, and we do probably want to retain a couple of admin points just for, uh, well, gen generic stuff. Um, and I don't want to switch over everyone just right away. So without further ado, let's execute our air directives over here and get over towards the ground phase. See how good all of our attacks are going to go and whether we are going to have disaster strikes. So you can see all of them are being ex executed over here. A lot of interceptions are happening. We're losing quite a couple of aircraft here, 37. So far that's okay, but that is going to go up dramatically as our air attacks are being executed a little bit more over here. But I do like to see that we are shooting down quite a couple of Germans as well. The Germans cannot really really keep up with these losses, especially their pilot training programs by 1943 are really, really stretched quite thinly. So, yeah, let's start out by the 8th Air Force. It's attack here against Swickau and the car manufacturing there. So, an okay effect, I would say. We are doing slightly more than, let's say, let's call that 60% of damage. That is okay. We are losing quite a couple of bombers here, though. 60 aircraft lost in total, 40 bombers, and 23 fighters. That is not great. On the other hand, the Germans have lost an enormous number of fighters as well, 63. So, honestly, while this is pretty harsh, I think this is okay. I mean, this is this is this is tough fights over here. 20 bombers lost. That is that is not great. That is that is kind of that is kind of hefty. What did you how how did we lose these guys? Mostly against f uh, enemy air attacks. Well, that wasn't exactly over the airfield, but I think it just was damage that they have dealt earlier. And you can see they are intercepting us quite a couple of times as we are coming into this mission. Air combat, yeah, you can see these guys are dealing some damage and it doesn't result in them, in us being shot down immediately, but sort of it accumulates over time and then after a while these aircraft might be going down. On the other hand, it's kind of weird that we are seeing that they're not losing that many. Well, just, Jesus, look how many air interceptions there were before before they actually came into into the fight. It's it, it's an, an enormous amount. Yeah, and this was probably one of the most decisive ones here. So you can see the Germans lost 11 BF-109s, I want to say. No, the losses are mostly on the BF-101, so on the two-engine Zerstörer kind of aircraft. Quite a couple of losses there. Um, if you do look at the air losses, can we see their experience? Oh yeah, we can over here. 
So you can see these are kind of experienced aircraft uh, pilots that they are losing. So that is fairly nice to see. Who actually dealt the damage over here? That I want to know. It's kind of everyone. It's kind of it's kind of everyone in in the fighters. A couple of mosquitoes here did some good damage, sweeping ahead of the main air force. That's nice to see. But also the lightnings are doing are doing some good work over here. That is that is definitely nice to see. Two two lightnings uh, two kills due to lightning. That is that is fairly nice. So our our strategy here is somewhat working. That I like to see. And we've got another aircraft over here. Ooh, with ME210s. These are we do, they, the Germans don't really have that many of these aircraft, and the losses here will hurt them quite a bit. I mean, they've got eight aircraft coming in. Is it eight aircraft coming in or eight aircraft surviving? I never quite know that. And nevertheless, they are losing five, so that is a fairly significant loss here for these uh, pi for these German pilots at 91 experience. That is that is very hefty. Great, so that is okay. Um, let's actually look at the other attacks. So, effect on the target, 60% damage. I think I'm okay with that. Um, the losses that we are sustaining here are kind of heavy, but on the other hand, with that many Germans killed, I'm I'm going to be fairly happy about the loss to uh, the Germans there. Couple of uh, couple of aircraft lost here in the recon mission as well. That's not quite as bad. Uh, let's look at bomber command. How did you do? Well, 23 aircraft lost, 27 against 12 Germans, that's not quite as good, honestly. And the vehicles, again, were not damaged. Yeah, Bomber Command really, really is struggling here. I don't see... Well, that's nice to see. A couple of German fighters shot down there. But yeah, Bomber Command really is struggling to make an impact here. That is, that is kind of... Unfortunate, I'm, I must admit. I was expecting a little bit more from these guys. Uh, we've got Fighter Command flying in these air intruder missions. Um, we are losing one aircraft. We are shooting down none, it says here. Uh, but we can see some of these aircraft being lost over here. It's a small effect, but it is an effect nonetheless. So, yeah, I'm going to take that any time. Big, big question is, how did the attack on the Enschede area here go? Oh, I think it was Osnabrück, Münster? One of these airfields here uh, was attacked quite heavily and I do want to know how that went. I think it was these guys over here. Yeah, okay, losses were kind of heavy over here with 24 aircraft lost on our side and the enemy didn't really lo lose that much. So, honestly, probably a not a very good attack here. I mean, these airfield attacks, it's kind of nice if we are doing some damage and if we can take out some airframes on the ground. But the problem is, we are not killing air, uh, we are not killing pilots here, so, whereas they are. So, I think really pilots are the bottleneck of the Germans. So, yeah, not convinced that this was a good attack here at all. But, oh my, it was worthwhile to try and find out. Okay, um, how did the strategic air force fare down in Italy? Well, it did bomb these rail uh, hexes pretty heftily, so that's nice to see. Six aircraft lost against 19 Germans. Yeah, okay, you know what? That is that is a fine, fine ratio over here. Well, 16 against 19, if we're also counting the escort fighters. Uh, but honestly, I think I'm fairly, fairly happy with that result. Although I'm suspecting that a lot of these guys, a lot of these losses here might be simply Italians. No. It's seven German fighters that were shot down. Very nice. Beef-109s. With fairly high experience. 98. Yeah, the Germans are gonna, gonna mourn the losses of these pilots. That is, that is, that is for sure. Good, I like it. So we did um, entice them to commit there. That's nice. Um, and we did do some damage. So very good result here from the Strategic Air Force. I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, how about tactical command down there? You guys were tasked with running some interdictions. You lost a couple of aircraft, really not that many. The enemy lost a couple of... No, the enemy didn't lose anything, so... Yeah, still, it's it's fairly small. I mean, seven, seven aircraft going down, that's not great, but... All in all, you're doing your mission, so I think that's fine. Uh, how about then 12th Bomber Command, the guys who were tr directly attacking the two-engine aircraft that are directly trying to attack the unit there. You're interdicting. Why are you interdicting? You shouldn't interdict. I told you to attack directly the unit, didn't I? 
No, you are actually doing that. Yeah, you are attacking the unit. So, it does say we've lost nothing and we've shot down nothing. But then again, we can see this, this attack over here that uh, went fairly well, actually. I mean, you can see six German aircrafts shot down. Uh, 16, actually, against six of us. So, that's, that's fairly nice. Yeah, we are coming in with very small rates over here. Just six aircraft at a time. So, we are not doing a lot of damage here. And the Germans are not losing that many men. So, potentially this was really not that effective. We are disrupting a little bit, but it's really not that much. So, yeah, probably not that great. So, even though this was bombed pretty heavily, probably not a very good result, uh, all in all. Just not very effective. I mean, we didn't lose much, so it's not disastrous. But, yeah, simply not very effective. And then lastly, Malta Air Command, how did your air superiority missions go? A bit so-so, didn't they? Well, mostly, you know, when we are engaging them, it seems to be going on. It, it seems to be going fairly well. Mostly, this this type of loss ratios, I'm I'm fairly happy about. Jesus, look at that! Nine, 15 aircrafts shot down on the German side over here. What were these? Probably Heinkels. No, U88s mostly. Nice. Okay, I like that. Good. You know what? Uh, actually, what we might want to check is uh, let's actually look at our pilots. I would want to find out. Who, if anyone, did have good number of kills? Wait a minute, I thought we could look at the pilots directly, couldn't we? Battles, equipment... Okay, if I look at an air group, I think we might be able to see that, can't we? Well, we can see the four pilots specifically, but I thought there was some, some notification somewhere about that. Anyway, all in all, I think we can be happy to take out um, the aircraft, uh, the the factory here at Swickau. You can see all of these interdictions were running around over here, um, and a couple of ones as we are flying sort of south of Cologne, um, and some of these issues as we are coming into Cologne. Yeah, sort of as we expected, but yeah, all in all, I think an okay result. Uh, let's switch on this over here simply so that we can see what's going on. And I want to switch this off. I want to switch that off simply so that we can see what's going on. Right, okay, so our units are down here in Sicily. We do want to try to cross over here. I'm really not that confident that we will be able to because simply um, the the attack here is, they've got level three fortifications. They've got a full uh, division of Panzer Grenadiers down there. So that is gonna be a fairly tough fight. Infantry support, they've, they've got a lot of things over here. And it is very tough to break through there, so not at all con convinced that we are going to be able to uh, succeed over here. Nevertheless, uh, let's try. I think we're going to start here with the 30th Corps. Um, potentially you two. We can only send in two units there, so I think you might be fine. The Canadians are also very nice. You know what? So let's actually take the Canadians. Um, can we make sure that you've got everything that you need? We've got a couple of engineers here. That's, that's a good amount as well. So yeah, okay, let's move you guys in. And let's do a deliberate attack against these guys here by the naval invasion path. I think it's going to be very, very tough for us to break through over here. Yeah, and you can see we are, we are being thrown back pretty heftily over here. They still retain their high fortifications. We are losing a couple of guys. All in all, it's not a, it's not a horrible result. Especially as we are shooting down 11 pilots on their side. But it's just really not that great either. One to two, so really, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure this is, this is going to be able to. We, we just lose so much here due to the naval modifiers, and they are stuck in so well. So yeah, that's that didn't go too well. Nevertheless, I do think we need to try to break through. Um, so yeah, let's send in the thirteenth corps over here and try that again. And again, we are losing a lot here, more than five hundred men against theirs and they're not even losing anything in, in terms of their strike capabilities so yeah things are not looking well on that side well we've got one more division over here we've got no division really on that side we've got we've got the first airborne over here but I don't really want to use them for this type of attack we've got a couple of tanks here but again tanks are not really necessarily the best to to use in that type of scenario 
You guys could all move into there, but you wouldn't really be able to attack from that point onwards. So, yeah, that's not really useful. We could send you over here. Let's try to do that. We could only do a hasty attack. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try that then. Okay, you two you two guys are going to try a hasty attack against this target here. We're not losing quite as many men. Still, our attack gets modified to an even lower degree. Yeah, so we are really, really struggling to break through over there, and that is going to be tough. Nevertheless, uh, let's hope that the continued attacks here will make life more difficult for them. And they didn't even lose anything in terms of their fortifications, even though we used a lot of engineers. So that's not great at all. Okay, let's go ahead then and uh, use our railway guys here for to repair a couple of these lines. We do basically want to connect all of this up so that we have enough supplies going forward and making sure that all of this is, is pretty well connected. And that should be okay. You guys can move up here, but you can't repair anything else. That's okay. And then what else have we got? We've got someone down here, I believe. No, up here, right? Where's our other railway repair unit? I think it's control nine, isn't it? You should be able to see that. Oh, they are over here. They are still over here. Yeah, that does make some sense. Okay, we just loop them around sort of that way. Okay, let's grab you. And let's make sure uh, that we are connecting up this area. That should be okay. And then I think the next thing that we could do is connect up to the south over here. So this is a little bit better connected. Ultimately, I would also like to connect this, but uh, we might not have the time for that. Yeah, and then what we can do is come down here, sort of connect up this way, and then make sure that all of this is, is a little bit better connected. At least we've got a proper connection here now from at least this port all the way around here, and it's gonna go to Messina, so that is nice as well. Good, that being said, I think there is not much, I mean, we, I'm gonna rearrange a couple of these units just to bring them up a little bit uh, more closely over here. Uh, the Americans are also going to pull into this direction so that if the Germans are retreating, we can uh, make sure that we are exploiting that. I think the only thing that I probably want to do over here is grab the amphibious squadron so that you know that I'm doing that. Sending it over here, um, and then I want to define a target somewhat. We have got a target over here, so I think a target over there would be very nice so that we can sort of squeeze them in uh, like such. Of course, we're not going to use our tanks to conduct that amphibious landing, so I'm going to pull these guys out here for sure. And pull them a little bit over towards this side, I believe. Uh, and then what we've got over here is potentially the second core. You know why, why not? Um, let's move you into there. And anyone else here from the second core? Seventh Army. Okay, let's uh, actually reassign you. I don't know why you're directly assigned to an army. You should be part of the second core, there you go. Can I assign support units to you? Yeah, engineers might not be the worst idea. Okay, that's that's great, let's move you into there. Then we've got two units over there that are planning to attack this way. We've got already a couple of units, I think in Catania, that are trying to... Yeah, you've got a target, but you don't have any units. Okay, so we do need to send some units down there. I think what we're gonna probably take is parts of the fifth core over here. Uh, so that these guys are moving down there and of course on the other hand what we need to do is grab the headquarter over here at least and move it a little bit more to the north here uh, so that we are better positioned like that and that's fine and then yeah let's grab the fifth core over here why cannot move you into there excuse me ah, okay because i had two units selected that's fine yeah um Excuse me, just want to grab you, move into there, that's fine. You guys could be returned to headquarters, and you know what, I'm going to do that, so that's alright. You are also directly assigned to the, I think 5th Corps was the one that we used to use the tanks, right? So let's actually move you back over here. So we've got a couple of units, let's briefly consider that. So we've got the 8th Army here. The 8th Army is does consist of three corps, right? Yeah, 5th, 13th and 30th. 5th British Corps is one that we designed around the use of tanks. So that's you and you in particular, right? 30th Corps is sort of different divisions. So I suppose what we should do is grab you here, send you directly down there, and 
that should enable you to land over there at some point. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be okay. Did I? Did I select someone here to go back? Ah, oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's move you here, and that is fine. So, yeah, I'm going to move a couple of the headquarter units around. That shouldn't be too exciting. So, yeah, I see you again next turn. Bye-bye, guys.